Good morning, everyone, from Jeff's Little Engine Service. Well, here we go again. Uh, my mower here, my riding lawn mower. It's a pretty good mower. It's an old Craftsman DLT 3000, I think. Here, let, let me get over on this side so you guys have a little better view. As I was mowing, lost my steering. And it was making me wonder what the heck's going on because I just replaced my steering gears a couple of years ago. Down there. But the first thing I checked was to see if I had a stripped out steering gear or it could be my steering wheel is stripped out. So the first thing I did was pop the hood and watch the steering shaft here and see if it moves when the steering wheel is uh, and it's not even moving so I know that it's the steering wheel that's stripped out and the other thing you want to check is this piece here So this is the steering shaft as it comes up through the dash. And you can see that is like a bushing. And you want to wiggle it and make sure that that bushing is not cracked or loose because that will allow your shaft to jiggle around and uh, then it will strip the... And then it, the teeth won't mesh and it won't steer. So got to make sure that bushing that little bracket there is in place and not cracked and I've never removed this type of steering wheel the first thing I did was I popped off this little cap in the middle and that's just a sticker so there's no access to any bolts there and then I realized it's this whole cover that comes off so to get this plate off here uh, it looks like there's clips that you have to push in up underneath this cover and I have a screwdriver and you basically have to pry the tabs on all four corners underneath here and when I remove this I'll show you what what the tabs look like just push with the screwdriver a little bit and see how I popped up that one corner and now you can remove the whole cover Definitely have a floppy steering wheel. Let's see. I brought the right size socket. Oh yeah, nice. That rarely happens. So that's a three-quarter inch socket. And I guess it doesn't really make any difference. I don't need to mark anything, but I do have the. Uh, But I do have the front wheels in the straight position here to help me when I put this back on or whatever I need to do here. Yeah, so this nut may have been a little loose. Maybe why the steering wheel stripped out. Well, we'll see if it's stripped out here. It may just be loose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's stripped, so you have a gear in there. And then this piece comes off. It's also the other part of the gear. What do we have here? A little helper, huh? So the shaft isn't stripped. And the steering gears aren't stripped. It's just the steering wheel gears that are stripped. So let's see what we need to do here. I'm wondering if this metal piece comes out and if we can replace just these two pieces, this metal piece and this metal piece. We'll find out. Better put that back on so I remember how it goes. Yeah, so that's probably what happened was this bolt loosened up and allowed those gears to uh, flop around too much. 
You know, I wonder if I just cinch this bad boy down. <clears throat> Yeah, let's just try cinching this bad boy down. Let's see if we can get it to steer a little better. You know, I think this might work. All right, pretty tight doesn't strip any doesn't slip anymore yeah look at that it doesn't slip anymore so I'm gonna run it boys and girls but I'm also gonna look up to see if these parts are available in case I do need to replace them in the future but that's pretty tight it doesn't slip at all so I think we're good Something like that. There we go.